Yo, 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 hey guys, Rowan here, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords. And we did a little bit of a redo off camera. So, remember that plant in the Athorian compound? I knew I shouldn't have gone messing with things. It is tied to a quest? Which I knew. I did know that. But, um, I re-rolled because I am very concerned that, uh, by monkeying with it, I'm going to impact my choices in that quest. So I re-rolled, did all the stuff that I had done before, we're back here. I have not hacked the control here. Oh, okay, yep, yep. So, so we're good. So we're just gonna leave well enough alone for right now. I think it's the right call because I don't know if monkeying with it will do anything. I also am going to hold off uh, talking to um, the uh, commander, whatever his name is, uh, about the escaped criminals, because it sounds like that quest is notoriously buggy. We've seen them, which is one of the triggers that we needed. I don't want to risk breaking the quest somehow. So I'm not going to talk to Lieutenant Grant. That's his name. So we're going to leave well enough alone until we are ready to finish up this section of the game. And then we will talk to him. That way, I only have, you know, like maybe 30, 40 minutes of work to redo. Alright. Because I don't like redoing things if I can help it. All right, we're gonna go to the docks here. I hear the refugee problem on Nar Shaddaa is getting out of hand. I met someone who managed to escape. He didn't even want to talk about it. Most people don't stay on Telos long unless they work here. No one wants to get bogged down in the troubles. I hear the refugee problem. Most people don't. St I hear the refugee problem on Nar Shaddaa is getting out of hand. I met someone who managed to escape. He didn't even want to talk about it. All right. I'm surprised there's so many people traveling. Things being as dangerous as they are. I thought everyone would stay home. Tell it, brother. If you're in the north, be careful. If you do, there's a thousand ways to be apart from your credits. Apparently. Apparently, they know about, you know, the dread virus that shall not be named. Yeah, right back at you, buddy. Alright, a main menu. We can transit to another module here, which is really helpful. I don't know why I'm walking everywhere. Apparently I am. I hear the refugee problem. Most people don't. I hear the refugee problem on Nar Shaddaa is getting out of hand. Greetings, sir. My primary function is to provide information about Citadel Station, Telos, and a variety of other topics. Please feel free to direct any of your inquiries to me, and I will do my best to answer your questions. I'd like to know about Citadel Station. Citadel Station is devoted entirely to restoring the destroyed surface of Telos. It is under the control of the Telosian Council. The restoration project itself is funded by the Republic. Tell me about the station's layout. Citadel Station is divided into many modules, each serving a specific purpose. You are currently at Dock Module 126, which connects by shuttle to Entertainment Module 081. From there, another shuttle will connect you to the nearest residential module, 082. I'd like to ask about Please feel free to direct any of your inquiries to me, and I will do my best to answer your questions. 
Uh, I'd like to uh, know about Telos. The surface of Telos was destroyed via orbital bombardment during the Jedi Civil War. It is now largely uninhabited, save for a few research stations run by workers and scientists who have clearance to be on the surface. Why is the surface access restricted? For a variety of reasons. Safety is the government's number one concern. Also, there is a great concern towards the prevention of environmental contamination, the security of ruined military facilities, and other lesser issues. It's all about them military facilities. Please have... That's what this is all about. This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF investigation. Move along. Alright, heavy airlock doors usually open by a nearby terminal. This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF investigation. Move along. Airlock terminal closed. Okay. Seems like mercenaries are popping up everywhere now that the war's over. I wish the Republic would bring them in line. Maybe it's time I headed forward. Things out here on the rim are getting too dangerous. Seems like merc maybe it's time. Seems like mercenaries are popping up everywhere now that the war's over. Most people don't stay on Telos long unless they work here. No one wants to get bogged down in the troubles. I hear the refugee problem on Nar Shaddaa is getting out of hand. I met someone who managed to escape. He didn't even want to talk about it. Most people don't stay on Telos. I hear the refugee problem on Nar Shaddaa is getting out of hand. What's in this bag? One of the orbital freighters that we're using for the restoration project. Normally it's used for transport flora and fauna brought to in other words, to restoration zones established on the planet's surface. Normally, what's it being used for now? Nothing really, our restoration efforts have been brought to a standstill. Why is that? Is there a plan of restoration contract that means the Zerka and it must be resolved before we can resume our work? I know a little more than that. Chota Ahmad, our leader, could tell you more. I'll be going now. Greetings. Alright. Alright, usually open by a nearby terminal. This is why we came here. These two gentlemen down at the end here. Alright, usually opened. Let's save here. And. Ter I can't spell interrogation. Ter interrogation. There we go. This is Docking Wayfarer. I have no business here. Please be on your way. Uh, what goes on here? Docking Wayfarer is privately owned and operated by the Central Station Branch of the Corporation. Any relevant inquiry should be directed to the Central Station Branch of the If you have no business here, please be on your way. I'd like some information about a passenger that came through here. I'm sorry, but I can't release that data to you. The confidentiality travelers who came through are based on the primary concerns. You'll help me if you know what's good for you. Are you threatening me? Don't be ridiculous. TSF actively monitors these hallways. Don't worry, I'll be discreet my inquiries. The killer's dead anyway. The Perhaps, even so, we'll incur some expense for me to find the information you seek. I won't pay you a bribe. I must protest your language. I'm not asking for a bribe. Simply for credits necessary to recoup the expenses of finding this information. I'll be going now. Like some information? Yeah, 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 buddy. Your confidentiality is protecting a killer. So you say, in the past we found it best to be in neutral cases such as this. Indeed, a criminal user of transportation should be a more enough evidence for the authorities when compromising an innocent passenger. He left in no other evidence. I'm sorry, but there is nothing I can do. 
All right, don't worry, I'll be discreet. Look at camera and also run with right. the chubby. I'll incur some expenses. How much would this expense be? The like 25 credits would be sufficient. Not at that price, goodbye. Okay. For 25 credits, I'll give you the information you seek, otherwise, please go. Alright, fine. 25 credits it is then. Excellent. Now let me just bring up the passenger man. Was the passenger man? Matu Rem. Very good. Yes, here it is. His departure destination was Narsha. He was scheduled to return on a shuttle that was already returned. It's all the information I have. In our business, the less information we gather, the less we have to give out. Our passengers are doubly protected. I'll be going now. Alright, 25 credits. Journal entry added. False Batu bonus mission. You discovered that the assassin who disguises Batu Rem tried to kill you in the TSF station. Came to sell station by way of Nar Shaddaa. Alright. And now for you. More interrogation. Interrogate. I think I spelled that wrong. Spelling is important. This is a private document owned and operated by Zerka Corporation. Does he have business here? Please go. I'll be going now. Please go. I'm looking for a man named Batano. It doesn't sound familiar. Your best bet is to direct your query to Channel Lorzo. You can find her at the Zerka office's residential module 081. You don't know? But he oversaw these docks. Look, I'm paid to guard this docking bay, not answer your questions. I heard about Zerka employees should be directed to the branch's executive officer. Uh, um, that's not what I was then you do know Batano. You must be mistaken. Please move along. You can tell me what you know, or I can hurt you, and then you will tell me what you know. Alright, yeah, dark side points. Alright, CSD guards outside Zerka docking bay point you towards Zerka Executive Jana Larso. Alright. We have some progress. How long do we level? A long time. We have a very very long stretch to level. That's unfortunate. I'd like to level someday, but okay, I'm not going to turn these in white yet. Actually, so hold on. I actually go talk to him about uh, Batano. Something I can help you with? Like talk to you about what the is bodies? it? Something I can. No. All right, that's fine. Well, I should probably go test things and figure out how I'm going to progress this. So, I tell you what, folks. I'll see you on the flip side. I've been saying that a lot, but it's kind of fun to say. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. And we're back. I have done extensive testing, and I found some very interesting things. But first... 
We're on the case of Batano. And the time has come to go talk to Jan Lorso of Zerko. And see just what she knows. Hey, Jan. Welcome back. Does the name Batano mean anything to you? Batono? Of course. He was one of our former employees. Let me tell you something. There are far too many like him. Do-gooders who believe that because of the things Zerka must do to remain successful and profitable, we must be evil. They do not see the impracticality of their beliefs. They do not understand the realities of the galaxy. If certain funds must be paid, then Zerka will gladly pay. If competitors removed, then Zerka will do its part to forward progress. Batonu could not see this. Before leaving our employ, he stole many of our records, then began to stalk our movements on the station. Harassment, but conveniently overlooked, sanctioned, perhaps, by the Telosian authorities. He's gone missing. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? I'm curious, though, as to why you are looking for him. Gren and the TSF are looking for him. He asked me to find him. I see. Well, I suspect he's putting his nose into something or another. People like him can't mind their own business, always needing to pry into matters that don't concern them. I do know he spent some time in the company of the Athorians. I assumed that was the reason for his efforts, that he thought by inventing stories of Zerka's evil, he could put Chodo Habat and his incapable assistants in charge. But if you are searching for him, and find him, there would be a reward for any information of his whereabouts. A reward? I would be happy to have him out of Zerka's hair. He's been hard to track down. So yes, a reward would be offered. How much of a reward are we talking? 200 credits. And the thanks of Zerka Corporation. How would you put an end to his investigation? Silence his lies and fabricated untruths. His slanderous accusations are a needless trouble atop a great many troubles this planet faces. How would you convince him to abandon his investigation, then? If credits are what he wants, then Zerka will pay him for an easy settlement of this situation. Otherwise, Zerka will be forced into a lengthy petition process with the Telosian Council. If I find no truth to his accusations, then perhaps I will tell you. If your conscience demands it, then by all means. Just remember, a reward is waiting for you. Alright, 100 experience journal entry added. Jan Lorso claimed that Batana often spent time in the company of the Athorians on the station. She also mentioned that she'd be willing to reward anyone with information as to his current whereabouts. Welcome back. Alright. Well, off we go to the Athorians. Off we go, then. To the Athorians we go, the Athorians we go. Hi ho, the merry yo, the Athorians we go. Ah uh, yes, something, something dark side. Something, something completely. Just curious if anyone else knows about him. I doubt it. I think we gotta go right to the source of this matter. Chodo Habat. Ah, you returned. Have you decided to help us guard the droid intelligence? Do you know anything about a man named Batano? Oh, uh, Batano, I'm sorry to admit that name is unfamiliar to me. I must admit I have little interaction with the other residents of this area, however. I thought you might know of him, given his dislike of Zerka. If it's true he's no friend of Zerka, I wish it were true that I knew of him. Liar! Alas, I do not. I'm sorry to not be more helpful. Are you sure? Lorso mentioned that he spent time here in the compound. It would not be the first time Lorso was mistaken. I assure you, I've never known of a man named Batano to spend time in our company here. I'm looking for him on behalf of Lieutenant Gren. If I can locate him, 
It might prove the end of Zerka. I believe what you say is true. The Glens may hear that Lieutenant Grenis, who is searching for him. I am sorry they spoke untrue to you before, Exile. Indeed, I do know Batano. I know where he can be found. Even so, you must promise me that you will tell no one about this. Not even Lieutenant Grenis without Batano's permission. Well, we want that sweet, sweet dark side. Of course, Jodo! Batano's secret safe with me. Very good. You see, Batano came to us for protection. We found him in an apartment where he could hide. A security technician ensured. You will find him in an apartment C1 in the eastern portion of the residential module. I'll give you the pass key to enter. Give him my apologies for revealing his hiding place. My explanations. I hope you will not be too angry. I'll be going now. Dark side points. 150 experience. And a pass game. Chodabot revealed that the Anthorians hid Batano in apartment C1 in the residential module 082 East. Okay. Alright, um. It went so fast. Our security technicians ensure that you would not be found by Zerka's security division. Alright. Progress. And a little bit more dark side, which is, you know, it's always appreciated. Alright. And now the time has come to go find the man. The myth, the legend himself. The great Botano. Also, I did check something off camera. A false Batu only gives us an item reward and no experience. So I'm gonna save that because items scale based on levels. So I might as well wait to turn that in until we absolutely have to. Um, so this is Batano. Hello. What the? Hmm. You're not CSD. What are you doing here? So, I'm gonna be right back, folks. I do want to check a couple things. It occurred to me I haven't fully mapped out the conversation. <laughs> Getting a little ahead of myself. Be right back. All right. So, I've got. Things figured out. What the? Hmm. You're not CSD. What are you doing here? You're Batano, right? What? No, you must be mistaken. You're probably looking for a previous tenant or a neighbor. Lieutenant Gren sent me to look for you. Dole sent you? Can't say I'm surprised. He was the one who wanted me to come forward in the first place. If you don't come forward, I'm gonna turn you into Lorso. You'd be signing my death warrant. Doesn't matter to me. It only matters that I get paid. Lorso Gren, take your pick. Fine then. Here's 500 credits. Extra take them cash. and forget you ever met me. And if Gren really did send you, tell him thanks. Stay here. I'll go to Gren and have him make arrangements. Don't be too surprised if I'm not here when you get back. Alright, so we got 500 credits for that, 200 experience points. Found Botano in the apartment furnished him by the Athorians. So, out of curiosity here. So, Botano uh, found. Alright. Just as a point of uh, testing on camera, because I didn't think of this. Let's go talk to Gren. See if Gren even acknowledges this. Because I just said I'm going to go make arrangements with Gren. I'm not sure if I actually can. I don't know if this is legitimately an option for us. I should probably use these fast travel locations instead of hoofing it. That would probably be smart. 
Something I can help. What is it? No. Something I can help. So I cannot talk to him about Matana. side then triple betrayal I found Bitano finally he's eluded Zerka's best agents and I'm glad to hear of your success unfortunately I won't be disclosing his location to you a suggestion then Zerka has many resources at its disposal and I do not take such insults lightly I'll be going now yes you will be going now welcome back I found Bitano finally He's eluded Zerka's best agents, and I'm glad to hear of your success. He's hiding in one of the apartment blocks. I see. Then all that remains is to finish this business. Finish Batano. I thought you said you'd just try to pay him off. Yes, of course. That's what I meant. Finish this business with him. If you could bring him here, I could discuss a method of payment with him. I see. I will bring him then. Okay, so journal entry added, experience points received. Inform Jan Loso Batano's hiding place. She asked for your help to silence Batano. Welcome back. I what you do of him is not my concern. Are you sure? I would be more than willing to compensate you for seeing this business through to the end. What would you have me do? I have a plan that would serve my ends quite well. You could bring Batono out of his apartment and lead him into a trap. I will send some mercenaries to intercept you, and likely no one would suspect your involvement. Yes, that is a good plan. I won't kill him or be a party to his murder. I see. It makes little difference, you understand. You can hardly stop the will of Zerka when it comes to a matter of this sort. Welcome back. I see. All right. Sounds like you could use some help with that. I could certainly use your assistance if you are offering it. You could bring Batono out of his apartment and lead him into a trap. I will send some mercenaries to intercept you, and likely no one would suspect your involvement. Yes, that is a good plan. I'll bring him. Lead him into our little snare, and my men will take care of the rest. All right. I informed Jan Lorso, Batano's hiding place. She asked that you help her silence Batano. All right. So I believe if everything worked out just fine here, that uh, we can now do this and lure him into a trap. But as I said. I have found a way to do the dreaded triple cross. All right. You're back. Are you ready to get going? Yes, I'll be taking you to Lieutenant Gren now. All right, let's get going. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to come out here and do this normal here. Right on schedule is the Jedi with Batono. Right on schedule? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. Batono's all yours. So this is how it ends. When Zerka kills this planet again, you'll remember this moment, believe me. 
Let's get this over with. So, if I can talk to the guards before they start shooting, I can triple cross. Unfortunately, they started shooting. So, I'm just going to show you what happens here because I want to do the triple cross. Is it intended? I'm not entirely sure. You're back. But you're talking to the one and only person that in Fallout New Vegas planted the bomb on the rail line and then disarmed the bomb. That's devious. So. Right. Now, when we talk to him, it spawns in those troopers. So I do want to do a bunch of uh, saving and reloading to try to get some good loot on them. But I just want to show off this delightful right way on of doing schedule. The quest. Right on. You should have stayed. Okay. So I just need to be very, very quick. No. We started shooting right away. They're making it very hard to do my triple cross. Matano just needs to stay out of sight. If he stays out of sight, I can triple cross. All right. So, Matano, need you to chill, bud. Need you to. That that did not help. I need you to do what I just did. Stuck on some furniture. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you're not really. Okay, well, alright. Right on. Right. You should. Okay. So, so. Come on. Right on schedule is the Jedi with Batono. Right on schedule? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. I've never met these men before, Batono. Then it's time for you to earn your keep and protect me. All right, well, sorry, but um, nothing personal. Well, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. I'm sure it has. The triple cross! Let's settle it. When I discovered this, like, this, this is too delightful. This, this makes me so happy. So those guys don't spawn in until I talk to them. So I, I can basically do this, um, see what they drop, and then go from there. So, uh, I will see you folks soon for the Triple Cross finale. But, yeah, that's the Triple Cross. Like, I, I honestly... Whether it's intended or not, probably not intended, I don't feel like it's an exploit because, honestly, I feel like this is totally what my character would do. And totally fits. Like, why would we not just betray everybody? Just kill everybody. Everybody dead? So, alright. Wish me luck, folks. I'll see you on the other side of the dark side. All right, and we're back. So I did try to roll the mercenaries uh, loot tables multiple, multiple times, and they just don't want to give any loot. The best I got was a little bit of credits and a shield. So we're going to go with that. Uh, they only have seemed to drop consumables, so... You're back. Are you ready to get going? Yes, I'll be taking you to Lieutenant Gren now. All right, let's get going. You're back. Yes, it's time. Lieutenant Gren will be happy to see you. All right, let's get going. You're back. No, not quite Every yet. minute we wait is a minute Zerka gets closer to finding me. All right, he is following me now, no matter what we do. Oh! Wait a second. 
Hold, hold the phone. Back. All right. What? Um. You're back. All right. Okay. Am I creating an army every time I talk to him? You're back. Every minute. Um. Okay. This is. Okay, I, I didn't actually know this. All right. So. You're back. Um. All right. How many mercenaries do we think we can take? <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, all the mercenaries. All the mercs. This was not part of the plan. This was this was not part of the plan. So it seems every time I do that, I'm spawning in two more. Oh boy. I may, I may be in serious trouble here. Where is he? Katano, come here. I have no idea how this is gonna play out. All right, get in the corner there, Katano. Right on schedule is the Jedi with Batono. Right on schedule. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. Batano is all yours. So this is how it ends. When Zerka kills this planet again, you'll remember this moment, believe me. Let's get this over with. Oh, okay. Hold on. There's so many mercs. Alright. He didn't behave. I need him to come back here. Come on, Madonna. Madonna. Here, boy. Madonna. This was... This was not part of the plan. Right on schedule is the Jedi with Batono. Right on schedule? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. Tunnel's all yours. So this is how it ends. When Zerka kills this planet again, you'll remember this moment, believe me. Get this over with. Right on schedule is the Jedi with Batono. Right on schedule? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. I've never met these men before, Batono. All of these mercs. And it's time for you to earn your keep and protect me. Okay. Where, where is Batono hiding? All right. That was a close one. Wait. Wait. Hold, hold on. Are each of these separate groups? Right on shit. Right. You should. What? Yeah. You know where that came from? <laughs> Right on. Right. You should. And it. This is really. Okay. 
right on right you should uh, I'm not sure what I've done here. I say the word. Say the word. Uh, uh, okay. Right on shit. Right up. You should. Right on schedule. Oh. Right on. You should. You know, I, I don't even know what to think right now. Say the word. I. Right on. Right. You should. I hear you. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This, oh. I hear you. Okay, Madonna. Something up? No, nothing. Except the, like, giant sea of mercenaries. You're back. All right. So every time we talk You're to back. him... All right. It just spawns You're back. more. All right. You're back. All right. You're back. All right. You're back. All right. I... You're back. I, right. I I don't I, I don't You're back. even All right. You're back. All right. Okay. You're back. All right. You're back. All right. You're back. All right. Like I You're back. <laughs> All right. This is just amusing. You're back. All right. No, that is a mercenary force. Oh my. You're back. All right. You're back. All right. You're back. All right. Okay. You're back. All right. You're yeah. back. We'll just All right. stop. You're back. All right. You're back. All right. I, I I I can't even. There are so many mercenaries. I don't even know. Why is this happening? All right. Okay. Like, I, I, 
so many. Alright, Batalon, you stand here and think about your lifestyle choices. Okay? Bro? Right on schedule. Right on schedule? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. Batono's all yours. So this is how it ends. When Zerka kills this planet again, you'll remember this moment, believe me. Right on schedule. Right on schedule. You should have stayed. Then it's. Okay. Well. I hear you. That was a close one. Oh. I have to hand it to you. I believe you don't. I don't. Okay, last. Last time he didn't like. Okay. Hold on. Maybe, maybe the difference here was I actually attacked him. Right on. Right. You should. So. Right on. Right on. You should have stayed in. Right on. Right on. You should. Then it's. Like. I. I don't even know. Right on. Right. You should. Like this is. This is chaos. Right on what have we you done? Should... Just what have we done? <laughs> you know, I don't think anyone else has discovered this. Right on shit. We're, you should we're have... keeping this. And it's. Right on shed. Right. You should. So this is. Right on shed. Right. You should. Then it. They're so angry. Why? Why is there so many mercenaries after Batano? Right on shed. Right. You should. Right on shit. This, you this should. is this is something. This is something. 
At least we're having to, like, fight. Like, trying to find our enemies here is a little... little silly. Time to take you... Down the side. Everyone's so angry. Right on sh- Right- You- Right on shit. Right. You should. Well, so what it must be is when you talk to him, it triggers the mercenary spawning in. So. Oh, I'm actually getting less XP from these guys now. Because I'm higher level than them. That makes right on sense. Right. You. Right on sh right. you. This is crazy sauce. <laughs> At least I'm getting experience for their kill. Right on shed right. you should. I've never met these people before, but Dono. Where that came from? Oh. Oh, oh my. This... This was... Right on... Right... You... Yeah. You know what? Really, I should this one. This is super amusing. Like, I've got it. I've got it. Right on shit. Right. You should. Right. Where would that came from? I don't want to over level either here. Right on shed. You should have. I wonder if I leave the area, if all of them despawn. No. Can you imagine if all of them were fighting? Like, I can't even hear over the blaster bolts.
Right on. Right. Certainly something. Let us end this. Yes, Graham. I completely understand where you're coming from there. Right on shed. This is right. A little you bit absurd. Then Like, I kind of want to get up to almost level 11. Right on. So. We'll, we'll see where we end. Oh. There's got to be other people that have ran into this before. Right on shed. You should. This is very much... Right on shit. How much you I should need to be almost at another level here. That came from. Like at this point, I think that's that's the map. Right on shit. You should. Everyone down! Let's settle this. is certainly something. Right on. At least we're fighting for our experience here. <laughs> yeah, I wanna, I wanna figure out just how many it's right gonna on. take. Add some, add some extras here. Time to even the odds. Right on shit. So hilarious. Chaos and bloodshed. Right on right you. Right on right you Well it's been a pleasure doing this. business with you. Executive Lawso asked me to tell you that your payment is waiting with her. I think it'd probably be a good idea for us to get out of here before the TSF starts asking questions. Let us end this. Yeah, I want to get like right almost to another level here. This shall not stop us for long. All right. 
So... Hold... Hold the phone here! Alright. I, I tell you folks what... I'm going to do this and spawn even more to get myself... Um, the reason I don't want to go over level 10 is we go pick up uh, money from the dancer. So, yeah, we'll, um, we'll get ourselves right up to the threshold of level 11. So, I tell you folks what, um, I will see you on the other side of the dark side. Alright, and I'm back. After slaughtering my way through a ridiculous amount of soldiers. Uh, right on schedule on the is the Jedi ones. with Batono. Right on schedule? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. All so this is how it ends. When Zerka kills this planet again, you'll remember this moment, believe me. Let's get this over with. Right on schedule is the jet. Right on. You should have stayed. I've never met these men before, but it's time for you to earn your keep and protect me. Well, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Executive Lawso asked me to tell you that your payment is waiting with her. I think it'd probably be a good idea for us to get out of here before the TSF starts asking questions. Alright. So that does give me a lo another level, but as long as I don't spend it, it's fine. Alright, let's check our loot here. Yeah, I did think about going deeper on this, but um, the amount of people we would need to spawn gets uh, really, really ridiculous, so we're, we're going to consider this good enough here. No reason to get too crazy. That. Some Kraken Gauntlets. Saves plus three, dex plus one. These heavy gauntlets created by the isolationist Kraken are almost a complete medical computer in themselves. They constantly monitor and adjust the nervous impulses, blood pressure, and tension through the wearer's hands. The resulting increase in stability and overall uh, system integrity have many benefits. Speaking of gloves. I didn't put gloves on Kraya. Can she not use those, or did I accidentally put them on the main character? I accidentally put them on the main character. Yeah. Um... Getting everyone the wrong stuff. Exchange work gloves on the main character. On you. You can have the Kraken gloves. Alright. That was a bit of a scrum. And absolutely hilarious, too. I... I'm actually okay with this, and here's why. And I know very first episode, I said I won't use the Hithis spawn, but I was looking, and due to the way the game was rushed out, a lot of the items in the game can only be obtained if you reach level 50. And there's no way to get to level 50 as it currently is. So, honestly, 
We're gonna do what we need to do to get to level 50 so we can get the uh, items. And then we'll do another run uh, trying to basically just get as much experience as possible without doing anything weird. Um, yeah. I mean, at, at this point, like, I'm, I'm feeling like, uh, you know, we're, we're all in on this now. Alright, give you repair, I guess. Ooh, you get a new feat here. Okay, okay. Can I actually give you armor proficiency? I cannot give you armor proficiency. Well, she is stuck using one-handed weapons. Oh, interesting. Close combat? Range weapon characters. Oh. Yeah, well, I don't need her to use ranged weapons. Dual Strike's pretty good, too. Um... Regenerate vitality points. No, no, no. We'll get you dueling. So characters that focus on using single one-handed weapons in battle gain plus one attack, plus one defense due to the efficiency of this form of combat. This applies to both range and melee. This feat also applies when using unarmed combat. So, oh, sh she already has dueling one, so get improved dueling. Right? Yeah, continue to focus on the use of single one-handed weapons. Grants character plus two to attack and defense. Supplies to both ranged and melee weapons. This feat also applies when using unarmed combat. So it makes sense for her to get dueling. And then she has two powers. Well, she is a buff... A buff bot here. Um... Knight Valor here. Increase attributes. Okay. And then level up. Alright. And then we get one power this level. Um... Honestly, we might get her revitalized so she can bring people back to life. Get them back into combat. Um, yeah. This power allows the Jedi to rekindle life energies of n any non-droid fallen ally. This brings the single closest fallen ally back to consciousness with 5% of their total vitality points. So, do that. Excellent. And I'm not going to do my other level quite yet here. That was... That was something else. Was not expecting this to be part of the plan. That was interesting. So yeah, in the spirit of trying to collect uh, some of the rarest items in the game, we're going with it. Alright. And so now, we can talk to Ron now. I assume you've come from the Guardians. Yes, give them to me. You're right. I hope that I will soon have fulfilled my debt to you. So, a thousand credits. So we basically get credits every time we level up and come back. So let's level our skills here. Get awareness and treat injury moving in the right direction here. 
All right, using a force power requires force points. Your light dark side rating affects the force point costs of some powers. The further you stray to the dark side, the more expensive light side powers become, and less expensive dark side powers become, and vice versa. Determination Chicho lightsaber form. All right, well, we have to get the next tier of force lightning here. So this power unleashes energy attack on all hostile creatures up to 16 meters directly in front of the Jedi. Victims suffer 1 to 6 points of damage per each of the attacking character's levels. Successful will save by targets at a DC of 5 plus the attacking character's level plus the attacking character's wisdom charisma modifiers. Reduce damage by half. So, except that. Alright, so what what is determination uh, lightsaber form? The determination form, also known as Shicho or Form 1, is a defensive style that is ideal when heavily outnumbered. This form has the following effects. Plus 1 attack modifier, plus 3 defense, defense versus current target, minus 3. Note that the defense bonuses are cumulative, so this form provides a net of plus 0 defense against your current target, but plus 3 defense against enemies that are not your target. That's actually really good. I really like that form. Alright. Determination initiated. Okay. So we're just... We're now better against lots of opponents. Oh, did we talk to her and get our credits? Totally didn't, did we? Probably do that. What not a new soap I'm about? Yes, give me your name. You are hope I will soon have fulfilled my debt to you. What not? Don't know where such a. there. And we're sitting on 5,000 credits, which seems pretty good. Okay. I guess now we go over to Zerka here. Onward. Finally. And we're going to Tell Zerka that uh, we killed uh, our target here. Hello. Welcome back. I killed a lot of your mercenaries, but don't let's take care. I'm of glad them. to hear of it. Don't worry. I'll be sure that the TSF has no way of learning of your connection to the incident. And of course, here is your payment. Zerka Corporation thanks you for your assistance. All right. Excellent. Jan Lorso reward you for your part in dealing with Batona. Fantastic. That was absolutely Chaos. Alright. I now need a lot more experience to level. Okay. So, we're now level 11. That feels pretty good. Um, now I need to figure out what we're doing next, folks, so I'll see you on the dark side. Well, the flip side. You get the picture. All right, folks, 
I have repented. I realized something. That have I fallen so far into the dark side that I would use something clearly not intended by the developers? Nay, I say. I read my channel bio. No cheats, hacks, exploits. And that was clearly not intended. I cannot have this be smirch, my good name. But I am going to post my findings uh, so we can, so I can share it with everyone who might want to know. But, alas, we're not going to keep that. Uh, I did roll items till I got a, an okay item. So, we are going to kill both parties. We're going to do the dreaded triple cross here. Right on schedule is the Jedi with Batono. Right on schedule? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. But Dono's all yours. So this is how it ends. When Zerka kills this planet again, you'll remember this moment, believe me. Let's get this over with. Right on schedule is the Jedi with Batono. Right on schedule? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. I've never met these men before, Batono. It's time for you to earn your keep and protect me. <laughs> Kill Batono first here. Oh! One of my party members went down. Well, it's been a pleasure doing business with This conversation got cancelled. No, 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 no. I'm not happy with this. And then now. I know how we can fix that. Right on schedule is the Jedi with Batono. Right on schedule? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. Batono's all yours. So this is how it ends. When Zerka kills this planet again, you'll remember this moment, believe me. I'm sure I won't. Right on schedule is the Jedi with Batono. Right on schedule? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You should have stayed in hiding, Batono. I've never met these and men. It's time before. for you to earn your keep and protect me. Okay. But I need to yes. say the word. everyone over here. Time to even the odds. Can we not do that? Well, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Executive Lawso asked me to tell you that your payment is waiting with her. I think it'd probably be a good idea for us to get out of here before the TSF starts asking questions. A pheromone package. Well, not super incredible loot. I didn't have one. And this combos really, really nicely my regal visor. So, if we need a bunch of persuade, we can get a bunch of persuade. Alright, and our Nagi grip off of his corpse. Oh, I never did explain um, how I figured out how to do this uh, consistently and well. So, uh, besides the issue that we found with every time you talk to him and tell him to follow you that it spawns more troopers, um, he has to see the troopers to go running towards them. And the troopers, or mercenaries, have to see him to aggro and start shooting. If they don't see him, and he doesn't see them, then the troopers, or mercenaries, are just standing there going, Okay, you know, he's, he's not here yet. 
So that enabled me to then talk to them and do the triple cross. So I don't really think that this is a bugger exploit. Now, I definitely think spawning infinite ones of these guys I feel bad. Like, I slept on that one and I was like, nah dog, that ain't me. And we're not doing the infinite hisses spawn either. As much as I want to get some of the rarest items in the game, like Darth Malik's armor, we're going to try to get those by leveling as high as we possibly can. Now, I do know, going back through in the way back, early episodes when you play as T3, I believe we could have gotten a little bit more experience if we had run through the area and not killed enemies of T3. But... I think it is more um, in the spirit to kill the enemies of T3. I don't know. It, it's hard to say, but, you know, perhaps we will do something, you know, like spawning infinite people with our light side playthrough. Because, I mean, that's the kind of, you know, shenanigans, you know, those those despicable Jedi would get up to. Ugh! Jedi. You know, a Sith. Honorable. You know, we may murderize everybody, but we do it with honor and dignity and stabbing. Lots of stabbing. But, okay. So now that I've redeemed myself and we have gone down the correct path of the dark side. We didn't we didn't dip into the you know the shallow side of the dark side pool. No, we're we're going full on like you know honorable dark side, you know, noble Sith Lord kind of approach here. So let's uh let's reconvene in a bit here. All right, and we continue with our redemption arc. So first off, I still don't have gloves on Kraya. Oh, that's right, those incredible gloves that we had gotten are gone. All right, um, you know what, insulated gloves is probably okay. And then... Oh, the other thing I need to do, I have a whole bunch of items, basically, that were added to my inventory that I haven't clicked on, because we picked them all back up after they were taken from our inventory. So, apparently, I've got to go through and click on all the things. Nagai grip. This, the Nagai designed the script to improve a weapon's performance on any side effects. Modifications for our workbench. Okay. Oh, Bazak side deck. It requires both main deck and side deck. You store all your side deck cards here. Bring them out when you start a game. Okay. Alright. Excellent. We've identified all the items in our inventory mark them as reviewed. Now, I was doing some looking, and I believe we're going to side with the Athorians as part of the main uh, path through here. Because although the uh, Zerka Corporation is clearly the, quote, dark side path, uh, it looks like the Athorians get better rewards. And I'm purely mercenary here. I'm going with, with Whichever side gives me the best stuff. And Ithorians will heal our force points a little. Give me a permanent boost to my character. That's invaluable. That's like better than equipment or anything else. Even if it's a small amount, it's still permanent boost to my character. But I did find out if I talk to Zerka first and then talk to the Ithorians, I can agree to work for both. But we're going to end up having to make a choice, and we're going to side with the Athorians. And then what we might do 
is after we complete um, this place, we might uh, just explore what the Zerka side looks like. Welcome back. Batono's taken care of. I'm glad to hear of it. Don't worry. I'll be sure that the TSF has no way of learning of your connection to the incident. And of course, here is your payment. Zerka Corporation thanks you for your assistance. Hey. Alright, Jan Lars will reward you for your part in dealing with Batono. Welcome back. You mentioned work. What sort of jobs might you have for me? Our primary concern on Citadel Station is the restoration of Telos's surface. The Republic is eager to revive oh, while yeah, a jet for her. No. Very well, Z what can I'd I like to do. What sort of compensation? Don't worry. Z for your help in the 250 credits. The Athorians will pay me better than that. You're right. 300 credits would be much more reasonable. I'll have the droid here right away. Excellent. I will secure credits for your payment immediately. Oh, and here. You might need this to get into the hangar. Alright. Item received in Thorian credentials. It's a shame she doesn't pay me up front, because that would be hilarious. These documents were drafted by Chota Abad to allow the bear access to Thorian Bay and Dock Module 126. Oh. Apartment C1 passkey appears to be a typical passkey if it's marked C1. Alright. And then we're gonna go talk to the Athorians, let them know that, hey, you know what? I'm not a bad guy after all. I wanna help you out. You know, I'm I'm just friendly and helpful like that. You gotta stop dinging every time you enter a room. It's just... It's not great, but It's not great at all. Fine, be. No, I won't help you. Yes, and farewell then. Give a change heart, please return. Fine. Do you know about me, Tono? Apparently he doesn't know that we murdered Katono. Yes, I'll see it to you safely. My thanks. I will send word to my people. They'll be awaiting your arrival at AT Dock Module 126. I'll return with the droid intelligence. You've agreed to help Chota Abat, leader of the Athorians on Civil Station, by delivering valuable droid intelligence from Bay 2 to Dock Module 126. All right. On a side note, I didn't, I didn't actually look to see what the, what the quest log said when I talked to Jana Larso. Just very quick, like here. I just want to see. So yeah, part of me missed the power of the slaughter and chaos that we had, but I also feel like this is the right thing. Welcome back. This this is the way. I'm no, that's not what I want. Welcome back. What? No. Okay. Oh. All right. You agreed to help Jan Lorso Zerka executive on Sill Station by procuring a valuable droid intelligence Bay Two Dock Module One Two Six. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we're we're kind of mostly done with Citadel Station. I mean, there's. I shouldn't say mostly done. We're mostly done with all the side quests. There's one major uh, side quest that we can only do once we've actually picked the side here. But we've gotten a lot of the side content done already. Which feels really good. 
definitely feels real good. Yeah, it, you know, it, it's nice to be getting some progress done in this game. I apologize for the giant gap in time. There's been a lot going on, uh, you know, outside of YouTube. You know, real life stuff. That and, you know, I, I make these games really grueling and painful to play. It It's a point of pride for me, though, to do that and really dig into the games. But man, the sacrifices I make to... to Dragon X1 gets a little bit of a charge in the middle of the road. Look at all the money. You know what I didn't do? I didn't check these conversations ahead of time. So I'm gonna pick an answer here. I think they all lead to the same thing. And we're gonna check. I'm uh, helping the authorians. Yes. So I heard you should consider Zerzoff to return the droid to Executive Lorzo. She'll pay you far better than the authorians. How much better? We some more go to see she be a dentist school most of it you watch. Pick that shun. Did I offer you anything other than cementy promises? I'll think about it. Charika yayak. You do that. Okay. Feel like there's some options here. I will be right back. See you on the flip dark side. I, I I don't think that works. See you on the other side of the dark side. You know what? I'll just see you. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I went through the conversation options here. Dragon X one gets a little I am helping the Athorians, yes. So I heard you should consider Zerka's offer. You return the droid to Executive Lorso, she'll pay you far better than the Athorians. It has nothing to do with money. We some more go to see she be a dentist school most of it. You don't really think those Athorians could do better than Zerka, do you? At least they're not as dirty as Zerka. Spare me, please. No one likes corporations. They think they take advantage of the defenseless, destroy the environment, and the other workers. The great cause of evil in the galaxy. But they get the job done. 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 What Zerka's offer? Gen Lorso's prepared to pay you a sum of 250 credits for returning the Thorian droid to Zerka. Did I offer you anything other than some empty promises? I'll think about it. Oh! Oh my. Uh, okay. The world seemed to, uh... Have issues. Fair enough. Ithorian time. sent me to help deliver the replacement restoration drug. Yes, he sent word ahead of you. Please enter. They're waiting for you inside. Okay. Alright. So I don't believe we have an area transition. Oh, there's like some space. Something up? No, I, I accidentally targeted my guy and clicked on him. Alright. Heavy airlock door is usually opened by a nearby terminal. Open bay 2 door. Okay. So we'll explore this 
there. Oh. Impossible. Yeah, I, I know the object's locked. Do I get any any notice of what my role was? Alright, fine. It's locked, we'll bash it in. I'm not sure if there's any point in coming up here. You shouldn't be here. I must devote my full attention to the operation of the docking bay. Are we going now? All right. So we will run along the outside edge and map this area out. Oh, we have a storage room here. Which, unfortunately, has already rolled its loot table. Whoa. And is permanently empty. Alas. An empty locker with nothing in it. What can you do, I suppose? Oh. Interesting. Wasn't expecting to be able to get behind there. Not that there was anything there, but, you know. I would like to go out into space now, please. I, I feel like I would do well in space. All right. Oh, we automatically filled in the whole rest. Okay. So... Let's save here. Um, I don't know, before... It gets good. I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Okay. So the minute I move up there, it triggers the fight. Okay. Who are you? How'd you get in here? Okay. So, yes, we're all pleased to see you. Chirobat said that another would arrive to help us. We, excuse me, ask for things. We have additional visitors. Who are you? How did you get in here? So, I'm going to have to basically trigger this fight off camera. See, see what we get. Save, like, right here. So, like this. Kill everybody and see what they have on them. Where would that come from? Two. They'll roll some random loot. Everyone down! I'm uh, grateful for your assistance. That was the most terrible owner could have ordered. That. No, we. We don't need to. What I'm most interested in is what kind of loot do we roll. So this time, a security tunneler. Oh, this guy's got loot though. A stealth field enhancer. I feel like I already have one of those. Oh, is that eyes? Yeah, we got a whole bunch of those. All right, I will be back as I roll ad nauseum to try to get something good.
but it's I hope you appreciate the hard work I put into this. At least I appreciate the hard work I put into this. I'll see you guys on the flip side of the dark no. side. No. All right, the time has come. After many, many rerolls, I think I found the loot that I want to go with. I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yes, we're all pleased to see Toto Bot had said until it was right to help us. We... Excuse me, Master, but it seems we have some additional visitors. Who are you? How did you get in here? Alright, and then what I'm going to do is load crazy cool loot. Because this one had the best of the loot drops. <laughs> I wonder who could have ordered such a thing. Was carrying this. An assassin's tool. It is no surprise that hired killers would carry weapons such as these. I will show it to Lieutenant Gren. I doubt that he would be able to discern much from it. I've seen many blasters this type for sale across the galaxy. Actually, Master, it appears that it has a number of illegal modifications. Interesting, I believe you. You are correct, though by no means an expert. Such modifications are illegal in civil station. Lieutenant Grant should be informed, so I might conduct an investigation. But more importantly, you must take this droid back to show your body. I fear there may be more attacks. We do not see it quickly to safety. Um, let's see. Actually, I'll be returning it to Zerka Corporation. What? You cannot do this, I beg you. Zerka cannot be trusted. I think Telos would be better served with it in their capable hands. You must not believe them. Jen Lorso spins lies as easily as she breathes. Please, the planet will die in her hands. But I do trust their credits. You are wrong. We have little money to offer you. You must do this. No one a planet leaps for it. Alright. Freya leveled. Um, let's see. Such modifications are legal on Citadel Station. Lieutenant Gren should be informed so that he might conduct an investigation. I'll leave it with you. Alright. You defeated a band of mysterious attackers who attempted to destroy the Thorian Restoration Project man Management Droid. All that remains is to escort the droid back to your client. You discovered a suspicious holdout blaster on the body of a masked assassin. Lieutenant Grin of the TSF would probably like to know more about it. Alright. And let's check our remains here. Got a little bit of credits here. I learned that you always get a stealth field enhancer, it's guaranteed loot. And we got an air attack droid oxidizer. And flex heavy armor, which is pretty rare. Uh, fun fact, in the official strategy guide, uh, they have the flex heavy armor marked as a, you know, must get piece of loot. Flex heavy armor allows for greater mobility than even some medium armor. The primary ally is still Durasteel, but is treated in methods that are poorly understood by most in the Republic. In fact, it is unclear who manufactures these rare suits of armor. And then, we got an Airtech Droid Oxidizer Pistol, which is really, really good. Damage ion 3 to 8, ion plus 1 to 10 versus Droid. Range 17 meters, critical threat 20 to 20 times 3. Uh, balanced, uh, plus two versus two weapon penalty if used in offhand. Attack modifier plus one, upgraded bull with scope and chamber. The air attack ion blaster is designed to be capable against all types of opponents, replacing the need to carry a second anti-droid sidearm. 
While ion weapons are generally less damaging against organic opponents, they are powerful against droids. Also, ion damage can penetrate some defenses that will stop typical blaster fire. Ion weapons cannot utilize most power pack upgrades. Alright. And I think that was all the loot we have here. Something up? Yes. Alright. And if we try to leave here, we're going to find that uh, we are not currently allowed to. Oh, actually. Okay. Never mind. So I can totally leave. Well, I stand correct. So, yeah, we might keep a save right here. Um, because this seems like a great turning point. You shouldn't be here. I must devote my full attention to the operation of the docking bay. Well, wonderful. This means that we can leave this unresolved and then make a decision. Well, I already know I'm siding with the authorities. But very cool. Phew, I'm glad that's over. Still, death might have been preferable to the amount of paperwork I'm gonna have to fill out for this. Phew, I'm glad that's over. Still. Please reconsider your choice. You must not take the droid back to Zerka. Alright, let's do our level up on Kraya here. Well, we'll keep all of our skills moving on up. And then, as far as feats go here... Okay. Weapon focus... Advanced Jedi defense... Okay. Toughness is a good one. Okay. Close combat. So useful for range. We don't need skill use on here. Okay. Generate vitality points. Stealth run. Okay. Well. Since she has one hand and is always going to be using one-handed weapons, um, improved dueling is definitely an option here. She already has regenerate forest points, so improved dueling it is because it gives her plus one attack and defense. All right, and then we have some more powers here. Well, we want to get uh, attributes improving because uh, that lets us pass more skill checks. So, Knight Valor. Um... Battle Meditation's really good, too. Getting Revitalized would be nice. Yeah, there's too many things to get, and not enough uh, levels to get the things. Okay. Well, I think it makes the most sense to get night speed here. 
since uh, Kratos a buff bot. So she can focus on buffing everybody. The pinnacle of choice. The tipping point. Tipping point. There we go. When I fall with Lufka, and keep me on for Lufka. Why, you? Nobody wants to hear your complaints. Alright. So we can transit to another module here. Um. Yeah. Most people don't stay on Telos long unless they work here. Oh Maybe it's time I headed forward. Greetings, sir. My pro please. Okay, we've already talked to you. This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF investigation. So, discovered suspicious holdout blaster on the body of a masked assassin. Lieutenant Grant of TSF would probably like to know about it. Yeah, I'm just... I'm gonna leave things right here for now. Donos <laughs> Emeragith. Alright, Zerka. Or should I say, Zerka? Yeah, I went there. Okay. Yeah, I'm really curious what happens here if we just kind of leave things at this turning point here. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand and they're too much for the TSF to handle. We need Republic troops. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. We need Republic assistance. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF Station. How may I be of assistance? Oh, this is new. Do you know why the Sojourn has been delayed? The Valiant? I will access the system log. The Valiant? One moment. Searching. It appears the Valiant was scheduled Valiant. to arrive on Citadel Station at about the same time as the Harbinger. It is currently delayed on a search pattern. I am unable to provide you with an estimated time for its arrival. It looks like uh, when they recorded the voice line, they Welcome later to changed Entertainment module o the actual name. Anywhere to I regret to inform you that we still do not have any new information on the matter of your missing ship. Um... Yeah, there was a some... query regarding the Ebonhawk's ID signature sent from the Paragus mining facility. However, all data collected in response to the query has been deleted. It is likely that this information was removed when the vessel's transfer request was modified. I am not qualified to answer that question. Okay. If your vessel has been... I do not... The... It is room... Um... There was a quick... It... I am... I... Not... There is nothing... Not beyond investigating the matter. Okay. So we can talk to Lieutenant Gren here. You know, I should be using night speed to run around the station a little bit faster here. Yeah, let's go to the cantina. Hello there. Hmm. If you're asking me that, tell you. Can you tell me anything about this blaster? Hand it over and let me take a look at it. Hmm. I can't say I recognize it. It's good work, though. Whoever fixed it up knew what they were doing. It's certainly not mine, I can tell you that. 
Oh, journal entry added. Spoke with Luxa about the black market blaster. She doesn't think it belongs to any members of the exchange. Welcome. Cop black. It's always the same story. But if our treasury continues to be sapped for projects like this, contract negotiations are breaking down between the council, Ethorians, and Circa. So you're back. Okay. What's if this whole? Yeah, it's a long shot considering the state of the. Rep if we can integrate our. Quite a. F on top and. Good. So nothing, nothing of interest here. I'm through with Pazak for a while, friend. I hope that card does better for you than it did for me. Gavadumba Munsur. A Republic ship was supposed to have arrived because to take control of the situation. Because it sets their inventory in stone once you talk to them. So the longer I wait, the better. So there's no rush on that. Talk to him. Okay. <coughs> and I apologize if I cough a little bit. I'm a little bit under the weather, but I assure you it is not the dread plague. There's nothing in there, so I'm not gonna bust that open. I'm not gonna open that because there's a merchant. Can't open that. Already murdered you. Thought this was our starting room. Maybe not. No, this is. We could rest. You know, we haven't rest the rested yet, so let's let's rest. Let's see what happens. Yes. That changing something up. No, probably not. Are... Yes. Uh. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Well, we will go talk to Zerka. See if they know anything about this blaster. Good day. How? Many is this blaster of Zerka made? If you will allow me to look at it. Yes, this is indeed a Zerka manufactured holdout blaster. Why would a Zerka weapon be in the hands of an assassin? Zerka Corporation is the galaxy's leading weapons producer. A blaster of this model is quite common. However, it does seem to have some non-standard modifications. I'm sorry, but that's all I can tell you. Oh, interesting. Spoke with B4D4 about the Black Market Blaster. He confirmed that it's of Zerka make, but he also mentioned the model is very common throughout the galaxy. Good day. How? Of. Good day. How? Alright. Good to know. Maybe Jana will tell us more. Only authorized Zerka personnel are allowed beyond. Welcome back. I can understand. Oh sh! I don't think Zerka plan. We do. Okay. No, she doesn't. She doesn't want to say anything about the blaster. I don't 
Okay, fine. Didn't want to go in your your building anyway. Jerks. Okay. Is there anything you can tell me about these weapons? Sorry, that I cannot help you. I have little knowledge of these things. Um... I'll return with the droid intelligence. I found this blast from one of the assailants in the docking bay. Sorry, I'm not familiar with this sort of thing. Perhaps you should take it to Lieutenant Grant. He may be of more health. Know anything about a man named Batano? Okay. Alright, so everybody's just pointing us towards Lieutenant Grant. extensive testing. So, originally, I was going to do the smuggling quest. Uh, and then I was going to turn in the droid. And the reason I was going to do that is I wanted to try to level up and then go to the cantina and collect my earnings from our dancer and then wrap up that uh, plot line. Unfortunately, I do not get enough experience in order to level. Uh, which means that um, doing that's kind of uh, a moot point in the order that we do it. So I'm going to hold off on the smuggling quest because when you talk to shopkeepers for the first time, that's when their inventory is set. And the higher the level we are when we talk to the shopkeeper, the better the stuff we get to permanently lock into our shop. So because it ends up uh, being more uh, valuable in the long term to do things this way, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I am going to go talk to Lieutenant Bren uh, and tell him about the blaster that we found first. And then uh, we'll kind of proceed from there. So. We'll also finish off um, this uh, storyline soon as well here uh, with uh, the dancer. Hey, Lieutenant Gren. I got a surprise for you. Something I can help you with? I have a blaster I'd like you to look at. A blaster? Hm. I don't see why not. What? Where did you get this? I was ambushed by thugs in a dock module. One of the attackers was carrying this. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is no ordinary holdout blaster. It's been outfitted with a number of illegal modifications. You say you found this at the docks? That is disturbing news. Disturbing? There are plenty of armed people at Citadel Station. Yes, that is true. But a weapon with these black market additions should not be available on the station. When off-world weapons are transported onto Citadel Station, whether they are personal arms or shipments to be resold, they are inspected and licensed by the TSF. This confirms my fear that there is a source of black market weapons and components here on the station. I could use your help getting to the bottom of it. You found more evidence previously? We have found a number of blasters similar to this one, as well as a crate of contraband weapons upgrades. Perhaps I could find the source of the goods for you. A relative stranger as yourself might be useful for the investigation. 
You'd be compensated, of course. I'd rather not get involved. I see. If you find another of these, please let me know. All right. Lieutenant Gren would like you to gather more information about the illegal blaster. Something I can help you with? I've decided I'd like to help you uncover the smuggling operation. Great. The first thing I would suggest is showing the blaster around, discreetly. See if anyone on the station knows something about it, or at least reacts suspiciously. There's more than a few people around here I'd suspect having a hand in this. Anyways, good luck. Let me know if you find the source of the blaster. All right. Excellent. So, yeah, you've agreed to help Lieutenant Grant find the source of black market goods on Citadel Station. And then we're going to go escort the robot back here. Hello. I will trust your judgment, Master. Lead the way. Yes, follow me to the Athorian compound. Ah, I'm glad by your safe return. My people sent word of what happened at the docks. I am yours to command, Master. Good, good. Our computer system has been prepared for your arrival. May begin transferring your data into it immediately. I shall do so now, Master Habak. Farewell. And farewell to you, as well. I'm grateful for your help in this matter. Please accept this as a gift from my people. I found this blaster on one of the assailants. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with this sort of thing. Perhaps you should take the Lieutenant Grant. He may be a more help. Is there anything else I can do to help you? The incident at the docks confirmed one of my fears. The gunmen were from the exchange. Zerka has hired the criminal syndicate to work against us. Long have I suspected that Zerka and Exchange worked together with the former supply manufacturer army. He sold the latest black market channels. Now with the TSF keeping a closer eye on Zerka activities, corporations turned to the Exchange to be its fist on Citadel Station. I guess I'll be going now. That's enough for me. All right. 500 experience and gel shade perception gloves. Deliver the Athorian droid intelligence to Choto Habat. Okay. And these gel shade perception gloves are actually pretty good. Dexterity and wisdom. Which would actually bump me up in both of those. So, lose a little bit of dexterity here. Oh, did I already put this on? Hold up. Hold up here. Yeah. Okay. So, doesn't really do me a lot of good right now. Doesn't really do too many people in the group a lot of good right now. You know what? I think these are better than the insulated gloves, so throw those on crab. Shut up. Ah, you return. Well, never mind. What will you do now? The incident docks confirm one of my fears. The gun didn't work on the exchange. Circus hired the criminal syndicate to work against us. Uh, I found this blaster on one of the assailants. Sorry, not familiar with this sort of thing. Perhaps you take it to the He may be a more Thank you. 
Now what? Long have I suspected that Zerk and the Exchange were together. The former supply manufacturer arms to be sold by the leader's black market channels. Now the TSF came in closer eye on Zerk activities, the corporations turned to the Exchange, he had spissed on Citadel Station. Then you have no choice but to use the same tactics with them. No! I will not sanction needless violence. Even against one's as evil or corrupt as Zerk and its allies, we must put our effort into. We've tried to meet the leader of exchange here, warned about Lopez's luck, but refused my every invitation and allows no one inside the exchange suites. I fear he does not take us seriously. The Jedi, though, are renowned as warriors and diplomats both. Perhaps we might speak with Lopez. Show them the value of a restored Telos. I told you, I am not a Jedi. So you said again. Again, I'm sorry. I will ensure he takes you seriously, Chodo. I am most grateful for your assistance. I will guide my thoughts towards your safety and in Lobox as well. So, well, wish harm upon no one. Chodo about is asked you speak to Lopas Slusk on behalf of the Athorians. Lopas, leader of the local exchange branch found in residential module 082, has been harassing the Athorians while in the employ of Zerka. Lopas Slusk is difficult to meet with, is he not? Tina got my thoughts towards your success. Alright. Well, first off, what did we miss? Um, let's see, um, oh, um, we must put our effort into mediating a solution, okay, that's what it is. Droid intelligence too busy to speak with you. Breathe. Um, alright. Nothing new here. Alright. As I run into a wall, I was busy turning the pages on my notes. say about uh, what we've been doing here. I do not approve of this alliance we have formed with Chodo Habat and his Ithorians. I don't need your approval, Kreia. Nonetheless, you should heed my advice. Habat has an agenda, and he hopes to tie you into it to use you to his own ends. I don't sense that he intends to do us harm. Be that as it may, it would be best if you avoided such needless entanglements. You are too valuable to be caught up in the struggles of this planet. Regardless, Chodo needs our help, and I will give it. I cannot force you to listen to reason, only hope that you will grow past these infantile delusions of right and wrong. Seems a little, a little out of dark side character, but we're, we're very confused. You know, we're, we're dabbling Good day. in the dark How side. Man? Of course. Alright. There's nothing new here. I simply do not have time for you. My hands are full with trying to manage the restoration project without the aid of a droid intelligence, which you so kindly gifted to the Athorians. If there is nothing else, I would prefer it if you left our premises. I'll be going now. So, unfortunately, she's... She's not gonna talk to me anymore. She is not happy with the decisions I have made. Oh, well. What can you do? I need to see Lopax Slusk. I'm terribly sorry, 
but I don't show you as having an appointment. If you need one, they can be made through Luxa. Where can I find Luxa? At the cantina, most likely. Good day. That door comes. I'm terrible. Alright. So, I will be back. Alright. And I am back. Bunch of testing. And I know what we need to do. So first off, I'm gonna come talk to Luxa. Hello there. You know, I heard about what happened at the docks. Can we talk for a bit? No, not now. Oh, too bad. I hope you'll come back when you change your mind. So long, handsome. Well, I mean, when you say it like that. Luxa wants to talk to you about something, but you turned her down. She usually spends time at the cantina and entertainment module 081. Oh, back for a chat. Perhaps. Who are you? Oh, so forward. I like that. I handle vice. You know, spice, gambling, the good things in life. For the local exchange boss, Lopak Slusk. That? is a list of my favorite things. I knew you were my type when you walked in here. I wanted to clear something up with you about the bounty on your head. Don't worry, I won't make a move on you. That squid and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. You being one of them. What does this have to do with me? Look, are you really Jedi? Why, yes, I am a Jedi. Oh, haven't you met a Zeltron before? We read emotions, you know. You're not Jedi. Not anymore, at least. This exchange bounty has nothing to do with you. But Slusk, my boss, won't listen to me. Still, you seem a very capable sort. Tell me, are you a capable sort? I am capable, yes. Good. I like that in a man. So here it is. Help me with Lopak Slusk, and I'll keep the exchange off your back. And find your missing ship. No, forget it. Oh, too bad. I hope you come back when you change your mind. So long, handsome. Luxa, part of Sil Station Local Exchange Group. Wants your help getting rid of her boss, a quarantine named Lopax Lusk. You refused her offer. Oh, you're back. Going to take me up on my offer, hmm? What's your problem with Slusk? What, besides his being your typically slimy Quarren? Slusk works for Goto, out of Narshada. Now this Goto, he's rigid, ruthlessly efficient, and all he sees are numbers. Goto keeps the squid around because he maintains a steady flow of income. It is only half of what I know it could be. I should be the Citadel's boss, but Goto doesn't allow breaks in the chain of command. I can't go over Lopak Slusk's head, so I've got to take care of him myself, and I want your help. I'm not killing your boss for you. So run him off, Citadel. I don't care. Look, until Slusk's out of the picture, he'll just keep sending men after you. And who do you think took the Ebon Hawk? It was stolen from the exchange in the first place, you know. It was an exchange ship? Indeed. The pride and joy of a man called Davik, the exchange boss on Terrace. How that ship escaped the Sith's destruction of Terrace and Davik along with it, I don't know. But no matter. It's a stolen ship. No, I won't do it. If you're taking some sort of moral high ground, don't waste your time. Think how many men you'll have to kill because you wouldn't stop Lopak. How would this work? No, the answer is no. I'll be going. Oh, too bad. I hope you'll come back when you change your mind. So long, handsome. Oh, you're back. How would this work? I can get you into the exchange suites in residential 082. They're west of the entrance. More than a few of the guards are in my pocket, so there shouldn't be too much resistance inside. When Slusk's out of the way, I'll clear up this bounty matter and get your ship back. Deal? I'll think about it. You do that. Come back when you've made up your mind. So long, handsome. Alright. Next, we're gonna go talk to our old gambler friend here. I have 
returned, my friends. Do need a man to Hello again. I wasn't able to convince Donet to give me wrong. So I told you Donet is our man to deal with. The thought occurs to me, given the nature of his business, it's possibly he's working off the sanction of the exchange. I understand the exchange is a considerable here on Central Station. Perhaps they would have some interest in Donet. I'll see what I can do. I'll continue to work one way or another. I'll have wrong with you again. Ta yaita, ta bosan ang hansa ta. Going to take me up on my offer, hmm? No, forget it. Oh, you're back. Tell me about this blaster. Hmm. Certainly not. Do you know about Doton Head? Doton Head? Nothing other than that he seems to spend most of his time here in the cantina. I need to rough him up. You don't need my approval for that. I'm surprised the exchange allows him to do his business freely. I was unaware of his dealings. If it's true that he's cutting into the exchange's territory freelance, then we need to teach him a lesson. Boys, I'd like you to teach Dotan Het a lesson about crossing the exchange. Is that necessary? With your word alone, I might be able to convince him. Some messages are best given with physical reinforcements. But if you insist, I suppose. Thank you, Alexa. Shame I had to give her. God, I got a pizza. What match in this up? Oh, you're back. So, we're gonna save here. Oh, you're back. Alright, tell me about this blaster. I've decided to take you up on your offer about Doton. Absolutely. We'll make sure Doton thinks a bit more carefully before cutting into exchange business. So we're gonna do this, and then I'm going to re-roll the drops on this. Unfortunately, we have to see this cutscene to do the drops. No, please stop. I never meant to make any exchange. This is crazy. Oh, Rana, this is what the fake is. You don't get to see it, Rara. This isn't about the stupid Zaki. Even if you had won it, I would still hate you. How could you have even thought I should have won? What he did was impossible. I have nothing more to say here, Rara. Get out of my life and please talk to these animals. I don't want to talk to these animals. I don't want to talk to these animals. She'll be free when he's dead. Kill him! No, wait, I will release her. Just let me go. You're free now, Ramna. You can go, Varara. No desire to go with him. He means nothing to me. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here. You can go, but you'll have to pay me. Fine. Then these are all the credits I have my dancing. Take them. Now I'll be going. Now I'll be going. No, Ramna, don't leave, please. 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 Two thousand credits, and I'll let you live. Do not I gave her back. I freed her. Fine, here, take it all. Just let me go. I couldn't rack it in it, to para mas nucho. Let's finish it. Yes, boss. Apparently, oh, oh, okay. She faded 
out of existence. Don't worry about the mess, we'll take care of it. So he can actually drop stuff. I actually got really lucky on one of the ones off camera and he dropped something, but... <clears throat> uh, let's just check the message log here. Um, this isn't about the stupid sock game. Even if you had one, I would still hate you. How could you even thought wagering me? Okay. Alright, well, I will be back once we roll something interesting. See you folks on the flip side. And I'm back. After many, many re-rolls. And couldn't really get anything good. On the one that, uh... I accidentally got an item to drop before I was ready to start rolling on it. I actually got something good from him, some uh, good light armor. This heavy battle armor is about the best I could get. It's not very good. It doesn't break down into a lot of components, so it's, it's a low value item. More sturdy, yet more restrictive than conventional battle armor. Heavy battle armor is excellent in situations where mobility is of secondary concern. Yeah, see, it's just straight up worse than the flex heavy armor. So. Oh, well. Oh, and then Adam has something to say because, uh, we have now got yellow eyes. And, uh, even more wrinkles. I don't know what that witch did to you, but she's dragging you down into whatever hole she came out of. I'm only saying this because there's still a chance for you to stop this before whatever darkness she brought on you eats you alive. Question me again, and I will show you what power is. All right. I tried. But whatever's consuming you, it's affecting everyone else. You may be strong enough to handle it, but the others may not. Alright. So, Atten's a little concerned about our, uh, our dark side appearance here. Alright, well, I think this is a fantastic place to end the episode, folks. Uh, actually, hold on. We're going to accept, uh, killing Lopak Slus Whatever his name is. Lopas? Lopat? Lop Mr. Slusk. We're going to agree to kill the quarry. Because we don't really have any choice uh, to continue advancing the story. We have to do this. Oh, you're back. Going to take me up on my offer, hmm? All right. I'll do it. We'll speak again, then. Best of luck, handsome. Oh! Get you the jog, Ogra, Urna, Rima. That's odd. Okay. Lopax Lusk is waiting, handsome. Come back when we're done. Apparently, Dutton Head came back from the dead. A Lux, Luxa, part of the Citadel Station's local exchange group, wants your help getting rid of her boss, a quarter named Lopak Slus. Uh, she says she can get you to the Bumani Exchange Corp and Exchange Front and Residential Module 8 2 East, and that many of the guards won't attack you. Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode here, folks, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you like what I do, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!